A lot of people think that someone who is told that they're a girl when they're born can never stand up against someone who's called a boy. My existence is now causing people to question this reality. As a black transgender person and someone who was female signed at birth and therefore queer at some point in my life, I've definitely had a lot of prejudice against me. I've never been a person to sit down and take it. My boxing nickname is Cacahuate or Peanut. That's my very intimidating fighting name as a result of my small head. For me, there was never an option to come out as trans. I was known as a five-time national amateur female champion. I went to the first ever women's Olympic boxing trials. I was on the cover of the sports section at LA Times three times. Like, there was no option. Everyone's always looking for me to fail and to point out any sort of signs that of weakness, of femininity in me. I'm not gonna give them that chance. It's important to me to keep proving those people wrong. I know what my body feels like. I know what it's capable of. I constantly challenge myself against other men, I'm sparring pros, I'm sparring top amateurs. I know that this body is the same as any other man. I actually love training. Like, when I was a kid watching Dragon Ball Z, I love all the training montages and not the actual fight. Like, the training part is really interesting to me. I'm an older athlete who has a lot of miles, who's had a lot of injuries as a result of my reckless training before. So it's more me getting with people who understand that training hard isn't always training smart. And people who are also willing to tell me, hey Pat, you need to slow down. Human Garage is a smarter approach to healing your body. It's a one-stop shop almost. Most of the components you would need, you would have to go to at least three different facilities to be able to have it. As someone as busted up as I am, every approach has been essential for me riding my body. My first injuries were actually cross-diagonal, so I had an understanding after I was in physical therapy that this is a, a cascade effect. When, you know, like my foot's hurting, you know, that might be a result of like something wrong with my hip or like because of that it may end up causing issues with my shoulder. So I've already had a pretty holistic view of my body. It's just been affirmed here. The way I think about fascia is, is it's the thing that keeps our body connected. And as someone who, as a result of the gender dysphoria I felt from being trans and being disassociated from my body and working with a lot of people who disassociate from their body as a result of a lot of emotional and mental trauma, I think fascia may be the missing link that we're not having conversations about. So I am incredibly fascinated learning everything I can about this. You have to be cutting edge to even understand what it is and understand its importance. So I think the fact that Human Garage is based around this concept of fascia, that's why there's so many leagues above other people out there. Whatever is being done to me is being explained to me the entire time. And I really appreciate people not just manipulating my body, but explaining why they're doing it and having me involved in the conversation because it's my body. <laughs> and I kind of don't know what's going on with it. Fascial flows help to not only get my body aligned and functioning and moving in the way it does, it also helps like bring down the stress level. It makes me feel really relaxed. Um, you know, it's an hour and a half as opposed to like, you know, less than an hour of having work. And it's really gentle. Once you have some sort of adjustment done or untorking done, then they have you walk and then you can actually feel the difference. After one session, your posture is changing. You can actually see that it's helping you. In addition to all the injuries from being an athlete, I also had the extra layer of being on hormone therapy and really drastically changing the way my body functions and moves as a result. So I think we needed to do a lot of work to kind of get things back to a base ground while I was training for the biggest competition of my life. 
everyone, even though they have different styles and you can literally feel their different energy as they're working on you, there's one universal thought behind why they're doing these treatments, so they're working to complement each other. Everyone's working together for your betterment. I like being shown how to heal myself rather than just having to come to them, so I don't have to rely on them for every little fix. They're actually showing me how to repair myself.